Alrighty then, folks. Hello there, and welcome back to more Sankey. So, in the last episode, we did a thing. I don't remember. It was about two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? It's been a while, anyway. Um, we got a Dom Cannon, and we fought some people on a mountain, I think. Something like that. And now we must go assault the Aiden spaceport. But I did some changes, because that Dom was real. Oh no, we had that weird canyon mission. Never mind. We had that canyon mission where I almost failed because the AI wouldn't move. But yeah, that Dom was way too slow, so I gave it to her, because she's kind of useful, I guess. I really need to level her up, but I'm probably not going to. Yeah, he still has the Tropin, and I took the Gauf. I could have taken the Tropin, but why not take the Gauf? Gauf's a lot more fun. Um, If you remember, we lost our effort because it's going to be important in this next stage. And also, I didn't know this, but they took away our Katanas, too, which is bullshit. I wanted to keep those. So I gave her the Heat Hawk too, because why not? So we hadn't actually got to use the Gauf, which is why I wanted to use it. So we have the Bazooka, we have the Heat Sword Kai, and we have the Arm Machine Gun from the Gauf Custom. Which the Gauf Custom is in this game, and it's slightly better, we just don't have the customization part. You have to be playing on hard to get it, and I'm not, so what can you do? Oops. And then I have all the boost and all the uh, f melee stuff. I was about to say fighting. I want to check something real quick, though. Hmm. Checking if we can buy the customization parts. I don't think we can. No, we cannot. Damn. Well, anyway. Yeah, we also can't buy another elf machine gun. Maybe that'd be under guns. <gasps> That's the Jaeger sniper rifle. Or, the Jaeger rifle, which is also a machine gun and a sniper rifle. That's awesome. Oh, and we do, we do have the Rocketon, but I left it with her, because this one actually does more damage. It just has less ammo. Anyway, let's actually begin this now while I look through menus that I probably have already looked through two weeks ago. So yeah, we got to defend some HLVs. If this is anything like the Federation campaign... There, I'm going to be hiding in between mountains trying to shoot well-placed guns. Because the turrets were really fucking well-placed in this one. The only difference is, is they're probably going to have unlimited spawning artillery. So it's going to be bullshit. But anyway, let's do it. Oh, and if you're what... Oh, we actually got set to what we have to use. Well, damn. Oh, uh, we should really go give the GM some equipment then. Um... Just telling you guys, there's about four missions left in this game. Because after this, we go into space, and then there's three missions in space, I think. Should we just give him the beam rifle, no shield or anything? This is the laser rifle from the Zaku. I kind of want to. It'd be hilarious. But we also have beam saber, or the Magellan cannon. Sure, let's make him a Zaku again. Well, shield. Where's that knuckler? The standard knuckler. And a heat hawk, if we have a good one. We have the ground heat hawk. Or, is that ground or sp Oh, that's space, never mind. We have the space heat hawk. Whatever difference that means. So he has a Magellan cannon, a heat hawk, and a knuckler, because he's a Saku GM. Or he's a GM Camuth, or Camouth, however you pronounce that one. And we have the Gauf, and we have the Tropin, which those guys are already set up. I also have to sneeze real bad, so if I go quiet for a second, it's because I'm sneezing really bad. But yeah, let us begin. I guess we could have given her, uh, given him what's her faces, Dom, but nah, we'll stay with the GM. I don't know if she's done talking, but basically this was a two, like, two mission stage where you did the front mission, then you got to this, like, passageway that you had to pass through. You had to fight him right out, you had to fight, uh, Eric right outside the passageway. And I think I cheesed it real bad and, like, didn't take any damage because I shot him while I was on the floor or something. But it looks like we're just defending the HLV first. So you gotta remember the controls to this game. I don't. At all. Yeah, 
Oh, great. Oh. Oh, great, it's this setup again. I really hate swords for triangle. Thanks. If you're wondering, that was the Dom shooting a bazooka into the wall and knocking me down. Gotta kill the girlfriend! Aw, oh, damn it. Gotta kill the girlfriend! Murder her! We don't have, we never cared about you! You're actually kind of annoying! I also can't block. Which is really annoying! What was that? Eh. We gotta kill the girlfriend's new boyfriend too, but that'll happen later. After we take out these GMs. You know, these are the GMs we had in the Federation campaign. We weren't alone or anything. Oh, hey, we even have a time limit. Oh my god, quit shooting me! It's like half the time I'm not even getting shot by my enemies, I'm getting shot by my allies. Whoops. I did this more for the HP. Because I could have knelt, but it would take twice as long to do it kneeling. Oh, wait. I can do that. Yeah, see, they're going through that passage. We had to do it the opposite, like, we had to fight our way up to that passage. Which is a bunch of built-in defenses. It was pretty fun, actually. Wow, he actually apologizes for stealing your kill. I respect the guy now. I'm doing this so the AI is distracted by my allies instead of murdering me. But I have to kill this guy. I... F son of a bitch. I have to kill this cannon first because... Cannons? Oh, and it has a sniper rifle this time. It has an actual sniper rifle, too. If you're wondering, like a GM sniper sniper rifle. I don't remember ever getting one of those. I might have and just never bought it, but... I don't think I got one. Oh, you idiots. Gotta go murder. I'm assuming we just have to defend out the time limit. Huh. 
<laughs> Gotta love gun cannons that have swords. It's like, what unit would be completely useless? Let's give them a sword. Though they're not gun tanks, that would be even funnier. Like one of the gun tanks' fingers pops out to be a sword. Mm. I'm terrible at that. Keep throwing it through the gra or into the wall because I'm trying to hit somebody on a slope. Sorry, there's not really much to talk about. It's like, oh yeah, I could stab this guy. Okay, let's go stab this guy and this guy. Oh, let's go kill that gun cannon. We know that's our dom because it has a bazooka and the Gelgoog shield. Because not having a shield is dumb. Also, he's shooting at our HLV. Yeah, just run past it as your ally gets murdered. Why not? Oh, I was hi when I was doing this as a federation, I was hiding in one of these craters. And like every time I would step up, a Dom would pop out. I'd kill them, go hide back in the crater, heal up, try to step out, Dom would come in. It was great. Though I think we were on a time limit too, so it was actually a really good delaying tactic. I only destroyed shit tons of money. A machine gun that I don't use. Don't worry, that was just a lucky strike. Or a lucky hit. God damn it. I already killed boyfriend, right? Or did I... Or, and girlfriend? <laughs> or ex-girlfriend and her boyfriend? No charging up a shot. Damn it, I missed. I can only shoot down like half of them. Please don't make me kill them all. Oh wow, they actually got one. Luckily I'm not tracked on those things, so it's all good. Only the last. Oh, 
All right, so the three HLVs we were defending were actually distractions, so it was fine that they got blew, blown up. We had a third, or we had a fourth one hidden in the field that they had already passed that we were using to escape, and then mechanic dude stole the effort, which is what I thought happened the whole time. Forgot that Eric was actually in it at all, but he stole the effort and distracted them. He distracted girlfriend's ex or ex girlfriend's boyfriend, and then. Ex-girlfriend tackled him, who he happened to be her older brother, and they both died. Yeah. Because, you know, that makes sense. Yeah, um. We got some space parts, something else, and something times eight. Yay, now we get to go to the moon. I I knew this was gonna happen. Genzai,HLV は順調に月への航路を進行中です。クリストデア整備長のことは私も残念でなりません。それにあれが本当に立ち穴デア勝利だったのなら、こんなの悲しすぎます。多くの人たちの思いを形にするためにも私たちの手で必ず作戦を成功させましょう。ベラーズフリートから隊長への贈り物です。結末の見えた作戦に部隊の派遣はできないが、せめてこれを使ってほしいと、ベラーズ中将から
I have one in the Xeon pretty mode. I'm going to replay it as a uh, on Mercenary so I could do both, but everything costs twice as much. I'll show you guys the gaff there if you really want to, but it, it acts the same as before, and you have a machine gun on your wrist that you have to press L2 to use. It's very, it's very awkward. But... What kind of beam ri beam weapons do we have besides bazookas? We do get a we do have a beam rifle, we do have a double sided sword, uh, the double beam sword. We also have bazookas, so it could be a Galgook B if we really wanted. But I think we want the beam rifle. I don't really ha like having melee on triangle, but I think I have to on this one. Uh, that's the Galgu Gwen Shield, and we can't equip that on it. We can only do it on the Gao for the Gao Custom. And this is actually Eric's personal shield, apparently. Well, damn. We don't have anything bonus, but real quick, I did forget to do this. Resetting the weapons. Do it with square. Yeah, you can't reset the that one. can however, do it with that one. Because we still have Adidas. So, yeah. We have that. I'll do the rest later. Anyway, folks, if you like the episode, you should like. Uh, yeah, that's fine. If you like the episode, you should like. If you didn't, well, you can dislike. But we gotta go do the moon planes, which, if this is the one I'm thinking of, it's a lot of fun. And by a lot of fun, I mean complete bullshit. Anyway, folks, good night.